Uh, hi guys, uh, today I want to talk about uh, the practical exam again and I just want to focus on the very very last uh, page. Uh, often it says uh, that Cambridge is asking for limitations and improvements uh, on the experiment that you've just done. Uh, so it's on the, the paper three and it's on the question two and you get uh, something like you said state four sources of error or limitations <coughs> excuse me uh, for the procedure in the experiment and it also says suggests for improvements as well that could be made for the experiment okay now this part here the okay, uh this you can write down every single time it never ever changes okay and that is the part two uh, paper it says uh, you, I mean you've only taken two uh, readings okay and you found two values of K it's simply just not enough so you can just write this down in the limitation sections uh, two or three readings are not enough to make a valid conclusion okay and then well what's the improvement well take more readings and plot a graph and now that uh, you can you know you can thank me for this one because I've just basically given me free marks because this comes up every single year okay so every single time you're only taking two readings it's just not enough so you just or, or, what's your improvement uh, take more readings and plot a graph so now you only need to think about three limitations and three improvements okay uh, you need to think about well the value of a physical quantity um, it might be so small that the percentage uncertainty is going to be quite large so you need to think of like uh, a way of making the value of the quantity larger so you could say make uh, time 10 oscillations and take an average something like that if it's an oscillation experiment uh, if it is an oscillation or something's moving it might be affected by the wind uh, uh, use a windshield when carrying out the experiment it's you know possible um, if something is going very very quickly so it could be difficult to determine the start and end of an oscillation because it's just moving too fast so that's a limitation so what you would uh, do to improve this well you can use a video camera with a slow motion feature uh, and, and a timer so you'd have basically like a stop clock in the in the image that the uh, camera is recording as well and then what you do is you play it back frame by frame and then noting like maybe when like if it's a pendulum or something when it's oscillating you can work out the time um, but you've got to make sure that you state the time has got is going to be in the video uh, for the playback uh, maybe difficult to release something without applying a force so you can use a mechanical hand to release the thing whatever it is uh, there aren't that many experiments that I've seen that involve heat. In fact, off the top of my head, I can't think of one. Uh, but you might get heat loss uh, through a beaker or a container or something. And then you could just use a polystyrene container because it's a good insulator. Or insulate the beaker or something. Uh, the, measuring, sorry, the measuring instrument is not precise enough. So maybe... You know, I remember there was an experiment a couple of years ago where you had to measure like, the diameter of a capacitor. But you're only given a... Uh, a ruler so as to to meet it uh, sorry to millimeters if you used a micrometer it'd be to a, a you know a hundredth of a uh, millimeter so a lot more uh, sensitive instrument uh, but you're probably going to have to think of the instrument yourself what are you going to use so but it'll be a micrometer if you're measuring like a diameter like a larger diameter vernier calipers or like the internal diameter or something of vernier caliper would be good uh, Maybe you're measuring something again, so the length of diameter, the thickness might not be uniform. And then you can like measure around the object or uh, along whatever it is, if it's a rod or something like that. And maybe calculate an average. Uh, parallax error, when you're making a measurement, uh, you know, you can suggest a better way to measure it. And then maybe like use a mirror scale. So for something like electricity, if you're using an analog dial, okay you're going to get parallax error with the needle and the scale in the background now one fix for that is if you use a mirror scale okay and then there's uh, a very tiny uh, little slither of a mirror uh, that goes on with the scale and if you look from only one direction you won't see the reflection of the needle and then that's the, the correct value to read from which is quite a clever idea uh, 
oscillation doesn't occur in one plane. So last year's experiment, it was a strange thing in that it was like a piece of string, but also a spring. So it, there was, it, it was meant to be like a, a, a resonance kind of experiment. And the thing was going all over the place. Uh, now you can think about how, how can you make an oscillation in one plane and well you can trap the apparatus in such a way to make sure the oscillation only occurs in one plane so uh, it's difficult with a pendulum I don't know how you would do that without causing friction but if it was a, uh, a wooden rod you could drill through it and then put a nail through it that will make sure it only oscillates in one uh, plane uh, sometimes as well you're giving a, a, a ruler and you just got to basically just hold the ruler against the table and measure something like a, the height of something, which is very, very difficult to do. You're going to get lots of uncertainty with that. So what you can do is just clamp the ruler. Yeah, so you're going to maintain a vertical uh, position. If you're using a pulley, there might be friction at the pulley. So you can apply uh, oil to lubricate the pulley. Uh, electricity. Now, th this is if you if you get electricity for your second practical, okay here's another free mark you know you're going to get resistance at the contacts what you're going to do clean the contacts it's not rocket science it's not like you don't have to overly think these things guys the solution is often quite simple uh, all right i hope that's been useful don't forget to like comment and subscribe ciao for now